I want to know who is the man behind the Buffalo Bills Alumni Association? Who is Booker Atkinson? Well, I'm just an average guy out here on the streets trying to, you know, please myself as well as please the community. You know, I came here in 1962. Um, Buffalo reminds me so much of my hometown in Rock Island, Illinois, um, and so therefore it's the people, you know, we got along real good together, everything went real swell. Uh, back in those days in 1962, you had to have an off-season job because you wasn't making a whole lot of money. So I taught school, so a lot of folks don't know I taught school, oh, well, you know, and I, and I dealt with the school system uh, for several years and, and, and I decided that I wanted to move on. So I got into private industry. So that's one of the biggest things that I've been doing. Nice. Um, I owned a travel agency. That's one thing a lot of folks don't know. I had a travel agency for about seven years. And uh, we just we just, just did a good thing. Right. And they tell me now, I spoke with you prior, you do like a football camp also? Or are you done those? Uh, yes, we did a, a football camp for uh, local individuals and everything. and. Um, in Niagara Falls and in, and in uh, Lockport. So we reached out, you know, we go a little further than Buffalo itself. We, you know, we look at Western New York as a whole because uh, people come to see the Buffalo Bills all over the state of New York. Absolutely. And, and, and now the Buffalo Bills is the only team in the state of New York. <laughs> right, so, right, right. so everybody's coming to Buffalo now. Okay, uh, so tell us now, we were listening to who Booker Edgerson is, but what would be the one thing that you would want people to remember about you? Well, mostly is that, you know, I try to be good to the community. You know, I try to give back to the community that gave to me. Uh, there's a lot of things that happened in my life that I wasn't able to do by myself. The uh, only way I was able to do that was with the help of business people and the community people. And, and mainly my family and, and friends, you know, so um, those are the things that I try to get back to the Buffalo community. Uh, a lot of people ask me, why do I stay in Buffalo? Because I really love the people in Buffalo, just like I love the people in my hometown, Rock Island. Absolutely, wonderful. If you could give any advice or leave some wisdom, whether it be just youth or just people in general, what would it be? Uh, to be more compassionate, you know, more giving, understanding. Uh, I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot of energy to do that, you know. It doesn't take a whole lot of thought to do that, right? You know, so, you know, a lot of people, they, they get angry about certain situations that's out there that's, under, that's not under their control. So why get angry about it when you can't control it? Uh, because, because what happens is, is that you just keep that and just keep infusing and just keep infusing and it blows up. And it doesn't do you any good at all. And it definitely does, does, doesn't do the community any good. Right. So don't get upset when other things don't go your way. Absolutely. Wonderful. That's, <laughs> I can say it any better. What is on the horizon for you? Uh, I know yourself, as an older gentleman, you've accomplished many things, but maybe on your bucket list, what would be something that you would still want to accomplish? Uh, there's not a whole lot of things, uh, you know, I've done a lot of things in my life. Uh, I've traveled a lot, I've, I've visited a lot of different people, I've had, interacted with other people, I had great jobs. Every job that I had, I really enjoyed. Uh, so I guess that's the enjoy of my life, is that I've enjoyed the jobs that I've had. You know, most people don't have that luxury to enjoy all the jobs that they had. Uh, so um, the horizon right now is to be content and continue to provide and, 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 and volunteer my time to the community and to the Buffalo Bills Alumni Foundation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, sir. All right.